Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. I made this Supermarine Spitfire about three or four videos ago. Uh, I made it 132 scale, which is uh, quite large really, I suppose, but it was easier to make a, a larger scale than a small one. Uh, anyway, I need something now to display it. So I could, with a, a square of polystyrene like this, make some kind of uh, uh, base for it to to uh, to show it off that would be uh, reasonably enough make some kind of concrete floor for it to stand on um, or I could go a stage further and put a facade of a hanger at the back there uh, so I think that would make it look uh, a lot better so I've got my one inch polystyrene that I've it doesn't need to be any thicker than that it's only the front that we're concerned with uh, so that would stick at the back there and then there would be two tri-fold doors uh, to the front so there would be doors there I'm gonna fall over there and there and then that side there and there get on so that would be the the door system. Uh, it would they they won't actually work. It's only just for show. Uh, but should they uh, should they work, um, the, the trifold doors would fold out right out to the beyond the the width of the building out there. So giving uh, a, a, a huge space then for the plane to go in and out. Uh, and then just this at the top. Just another piece of cardboard at the top. Um, I've marked out where the grooves uh, would will go to represent the uh, the wooden planks that the uh, building is made from. Uh, so once I've cut those out, and then on the doors, um, I shall put a piece like that, uh, thin bit, thin bit, and like that to show the construction of, of, uh, of how the doors are made. One there and one there, like that. Okay. Uh, so, I'll cut all these grooves. Um, I'll put my mouldings on, or, yeah, these bits, <laughs> and uh, fix it to the back. And we'll see what it looks like then, and uh, we'll carry on. So, I completed the uh, facade of my hanger. Uh, just those pieces of cardboard with a, a groove cut in them, 45 degree cut one way, 45 degree cut the other. Just take out the, uh, the bit in the middle and then uh, put these struts or whatever they are <clears throat> around the doors. And same with the, the roof there. Uh, so we've got our front, front of the hanger there. So the plane can sit outside like that. Um, I've put a border all around the base, uh, again one inch polystyrene that's all, um, but I've made a, a bit of a lip, it's a bit higher than the, the, width, the width of the polystyrene. Uh, so now I've got some shuttering now for putting uh, tile grout, I shall mix some tile grout and uh, cover the whole of the, this area. Uh, when it's almost dry, then I can mark out some lines um, in the grout. And then when it's dry, I will have a marked out area for my for my plane. So I'll go ahead and do that and then uh, come back and uh, that will almost be it. So I've made my, um, well, I suppose it's a distressed hard standing really. For the um, for the plane to sit on, um, I just put a coat of uh, grey grout over the uh, over just a thin thin coat, and then after about an hour or so, I was able to mark out these lines and a few cracked lines as well, and and take out a little bit of the side pieces, and then with some uh, what do they call this? Uh, pastel 
it, it only takes just a little tiny pass like that and you can rub that in and it uh, it will make it look like a a distressed looking uh, kind of standing for the for the plane like that okay so that's the base I'll just paint it black around the edge now the uh, the hanger uh, uh, facade itself um, finished putting on all the uh, stresses 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 trusses <laughs> around the doors uh, doors are slightly open so that will be black in the middle there and then I'll paint this or whatever colour I just happen to have uh, but I think it worked out pretty well um, all it is is four bits of cut well six pieces of cardboard and some thin bits going uh, uh, <laughs> around it and, and these um, grooves as well on the on the doors and the top uh, so very simple to do didn't take very long and with that painted up and stuck at the back there with the plane on um, I think it will look uh, if you could see it where is the there I think that will look uh, quite impressive better than just <laughs> hanging it from the ceiling on a bit of string <laughs> okay so I will finish it off I'll paint this still don't know what color yet and uh, stick that on there and that will basically be it a very short project so I'll be back in a moment okay so project finished now um, I, I stuck the uh, facade onto the into the um, well not landing strip <laughs> uh, but the the area in front of the hangar there um, I didn't give it a, a block color I, I just sprayed it with the uh, a red primer and then just from a distance gave it a few squibs of black um, over the top and I, I think that gives a, a better impression of um, an old um, wooden building uh, anyway that's what I've done uh, a little bit of grass in between the uh, um, slabs there and then uh, the plane waiting on the ground um, it's just an idea to uh, show off your um, model airplane in my case I, I've made it from polystyrene and cardboard but obviously most people will use um, uh, plastic kits um, so if, if you've got a plastic kit that you want to uh, show off to uh, display then it's just an idea it, it doesn't take up that much room um, and it's it's quite effective it, um, well I think so anyway <laughs> um, if you do have a go yourself um, let me know how you get on um, so please subscribe to, to the channel uh, click that subscribe button and uh, like button and you will be informed when similar kinds of projects come up which uh, I, I make two or three a week something like that so please subscribe thank you for watching um, and as always, I wish you happy modelling.